Hey, my beautiful, powerful Scorpios. Welcome, Scorpio, into Wishes. If this is your first time on my channel, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Why? Because you're here already. And if this is not your first time on my channel, hey, family, welcome back. Hey, family, welcome back. Hey, family, welcome back. All right, y'all. So we're gonna get into this energy. Um, I'm doing a new sequence on uh, what to avoid that's coming towards us. So with that, um, let's get into it. Wait, Most High, thank you for my beautiful, powerful, brilliant Scorpios. Anything that they are needing to be removed, uproot them and let them be destroyed. Anything that is hindering our victory, anything that is rising up against us, let it fall down immediately. Victory is our portion. We walk in, we receive it. It is so. All right, family. So right now, let's get into the things that we need to avoid that's coming towards us because I feel like Something is coming, something is brewing that we need to let go. We're going to start with the Oracle cards. We're going to end off with uh, some of my personal messages, messages of love and light. Ooh. All right. Something that you need to avoid that's coming towards you. Somebody that you used to like, that, that, that used to like you. I feel like somebody's about to come in and start flirting with you from the past that you used to like but something may have happened. They're going to come in wanting to date you at this time. Also, Spirit is saying, be mindful of the people that's trying to date you because they're, some of them are coming with hidden motives, Scorpio. Some of them are coming with hidden attentions. Messages of love and light. Oh, my beautiful collective. Yeah, right now, I just said hidden attentions. And we got self-indulgent and the snake. So first with the self-indulgent. Right now, Spirit said this person that's coming in right now that you should be avoiding is somebody that that you genuinely liked and I feel like um this could be somebody that that's in the past or also I see two 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 individual uh situationships where there's somebody that really likes you and they're going to be wanting to date you but it's going to be something about them that they're going to need work on it's like they're going to have this codependent energy this is like somebody that's way too excited about like or not just too excited but too persistent like they're doing too much that's what you're doing too much I feel like up in my dreams on my Instagram you're doing too much like I feel like this person is going to be doing too much and and this because this person hasn't healed or haven't recognized or trying to heal a, a type of shadow side or something like they don't know about their self-worth also this is somebody i feel like there's another person that's in your past that wants to come back in want to try to get that mutual feeling that you once had in a past about lacking but this time this person is going to want to go the extra night they're going to want to date you on a regular they're going to want to come in and then on this i like you i see the snake of competition uh, enemy, clever, mildest, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So this makes me feel like this person right now with the snake, like this person probably has hidden intentions. So some of these new people that's coming in, like I said on the last, on our last reading, I think it was on the other channel, but it was like, you have people that, that, that you don't even know that know you connected to other people that may cannot get in touch with you no more. And like, if these people were like karmics of people that you dealt with, it's like their karmics are still watching you. And it's like since they feel like you don't know they face, they gonna try to present themselves to you one on one. So spirit says be mindful. And these could be some of the, some of your some of your divine well, your your karmic masculine or karmic feminine friends. This could be some of their um uh, family members or just anybody. But I feel like Scorpio, that they 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 trying to get us. Not that we tripping and ain't no clear damn show ain't no fear, bitch, because I could read you up and down real quick, you feel me? But it's just this energy of spirit says you know new level new devils you feel me you just handle them show them what, 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 come on family was good you know what time it is you got just people with you you feel me so it's kind of like that and spirit is saying right now this person is good like you got somebody that's coming that's that's, that's gonna act like they really like you and they want to date you but they have a hidden intention hidden motives and some of this, some of these people were snakes in the background in the past. Um, like I said, as this old lover that's coming back, some of them were snakes in the past, and now they did very sneaky things. And now they're coming in, wanting to to come through with this passion. Spirit says, be mindful. And also, people who try to date you, Scorpio, and all they have on their mind is is like passion or something. Spirit says, man, we are high priestess of fire. We know when a person just want our goodies. You feel me, bitch? No, back back these goodies aren't for everyone start singing and shit mary poppins and shit first of all these goodies aren't for everyone you feel me <laughs> what do you mean 
get off my dick. Message is 11 like. And I feel like as we're in this era, Scorpio, where we are obtaining everything we desire. So it's like, I like it. I like, it was a um, message just probably a couple of months back, but I was like, some of y'all ain't never had like groupies before. You are about to experience people that are willing to do whatever for you. And you're going to be like, wait a minute. This is not even my uh, genre. You feel me? But spirit is trying to prepare you for that because this feels like a lot of that energy as well. Also, I feel like right now you could be dating Scorpio, like just seeing what's out there. Spirit said, man, have your antennas up because these people are coming with passion, with hidden intentions to come get your bread and all with the hand of cards. I didn't even say nothing about that. Spirit says right now, because these people don't know their self worth. Spirit says, make sure that you keep your, 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 uh, your boundaries up you feel me like you remember how last time we had to learn boundaries and so it might be with the same person trying to come back in to test those boundaries baby i got triple lock steel plus i'm packing you feel me we safe <laughs> but with this spirit says be mindful don't let your right hand know what your left hand doing because this person's about to come in trying to sneak in and get your love so that you can be big back puss dome or dick dome but that is not your portion they're gonna come in with this baby love no Set up healthy boundaries. And Spirit says some of these people are uh, soulmates, soulmate contracts that you have uh, that you have cut off because what the ruling is is passion. So this made me feel like this person is going to come in trying to seduce you, Scorpio. And like I know for some of y'all Scorpios, I know it's been a long, a long time coming. And you know change going to come. Oh, yes, it is. Spirit said, well, until that change comes, don't get caught up getting none of that passionate uh, ping, ping, or ding, ding, or poom, poom, or poom, poom, because that will mess you up. And clearly, you already know what time it is, because look, you're not even answering the phone. I feel like Scorpios, you got people that's trying to date you, but it's like, just from the conversation, you can already know where they're going. And you just like, you know, bro, I, you know, you just so seasoned, you just be like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, I'm mm, -mm. Like you just like like who picked these motherfucking candidates? Got Lee. <laughs> Where the fuck did they get this selection from? You don't get your <laughs> The girl is, the man is beneath me and so is his daughter. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, spirit, I'm going. Anyway, so <laughs> what you do, avoid Scorpios. Okay, first, avoid people that just, just coming out the blue talking about, oh, I like you, no, I can like, but you don't even know me. How you know you like me? No, but you don't, yeah, in case they like you, but still. Also, people that are uh, uh, pay people that are trying to date you. I feel like you have people that are trying to take up your time. They are trying to be in your presence. Spirit says, be watchful of that. Some people that are coming to date you, they have hidden intentions, or they all about about uh, bagging you. It's something about you. You're so unique and um mystical and these people are want to tap into your mystical energy so don't let them get it you go oh, push for you know first of all for my males you know that semen retention brings about a lot of power and just you know what i'm saying and also women when you hold that jewel because you just so because you know what you are carrying and everybody can't be blessed by the by the the nectar of the, the goddess of life, of earth. You know what I'm saying? The spirit say, hold that thing. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be stingy with that. <laughs> stingy with that thing. <laughs> that looks funny. Gotta be stingy with that thing. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm back. So anyway. So this person in the past was a <laughs> was a karmic soulmate that uh, I feel like you learned a lot of lessons from. You know, you, you learn how to um, not just go off of passion, you know, head over heart before you using all of the things at once and not just that. But right now, you know, this person is full of shit and you're really not trying to talk to them. And this is what is really making them want to come in. Um, and then we have welcome in and love. I feel like spirit right now is ushering you in Scorpio, a new love soulmate, because what Whatever happened in the past, this person reneged on this soul contract that you both... Well, I don't think they reneged. I feel like they made their choice, you know, like... 
the contract was fulfilled because out of all connections or soulmates, it's like you, 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 you the, the whole purpose of coming into contact with people is to learn a lesson from them. So it's like, even though this lesson could have been, this person could have went further with you if they chose to because everyone has free will so because some of these people neglected to choose and or or, or and, and not choosing is choosing or they chose the opposite person or the other thing now since they did not fulfill the, the uh, that particular part it's like now it's like okay because you you learned the lesson you were able to detach and let go now spirit is saying i'm about to bring you in a connection where somebody has already chose you because you are not an option you are you give the options you you pick which one is an option like your selection should be more <laughs> your selection should be more finesse do you feel me okay so anyways uh the second to the last card is hard with the key why uh welcome and live and love meeting the one so like i said spirit is saying right now you're going to be holding back from uh people in the past that are trying to come back in because the one is really coming, and that's the reason why you have to avoid all this other shit. And Spirit says, uh, if, if, for some of you guys, you know, you don't need any closure. Like, I just don't, do not accept this energy coming in. And then we have the butterfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, things coming to light. So I feel like there are going to be some more secrets coming out when it comes to this energy that's coming towards you. Messages, love, and light. Y'all got, got something to do? Y'all got something to do? Okay, well, shit, if you do got something to do for the ones in the back, pause this shit and come back. But for those that still want me to move forward, we're going forward. <laughs> I love you, I scuff you. Yes. Okay, messages of love and life, spirit. Uh, what is this snake, spirit? What is... Mm, this snake? Okay, so this person is... um. Trying to be clever, like trying to act like they're not in their feelings or they get or they feel in some type of way because you are no longer uh, showing this person any feelings. Uh, will you still want me when when you learn the truth? So the truth is, is that this person, because that would have went up under passion. So I feel like this person really does uh, love you, but I feel like they've done some real sneaky type of sneaky type of things. Will you still want me if you learn the truth? So they probably was talking about you behind your back. And this is something my spirit said. You know, if, if you have to heal from a situation, going back into it ain't going to wait. Make the wounds any better. So, um... Yeah, this person probably did some foul things in the past, and their and their energy is coming towards you because your energy is already moving away, and they could feel that because you, it's like this the the, the soulmate connection is being broken. Oh, and this person wanted you to still be obsessed with them because they are very codependent on your energy. Spirit, what is this passion? And the passion is what they, this is what they are um, accustomed to moving off of. So maybe, maybe growing up, they seen a lot of uh, situations happen through, through sexual encounters. And maybe that is the only way they knew. So now they're coming back in with the only way they know how to communicate. And this passion is third party situation. So this person still could be dealing with somebody else. And also that's the reason, that's the reason why spirit says, uh, let this go because, because with the third party situation and this snake card, it says, you look over your shoulder, a uh, person with a snake. So I feel like this person has somebody that, that is watching you because they are watching you at this time. And this could be unbeknownst to you, Scorpio. You heard what I said? Yeah, that's what I said. So with that being said, this third party, uh, this, this person got somebody else. And, and this person, whoever this third party, got fake love all around them. So I feel like third party don't just mean with a sexual person, but but it means like outsiders. Like they could be like they friends. It could be uh, they they got fake friends around them, showing them fake love, and they listening to these fake motherfuckers. Like this person has no discernment at all. If they do, they is not paying attention to it. Cause this this person. But anyway, let, let me get off of them. Look, we done. We we done. My bad, Scorpio. I had to stop it like that because this is this is all about them. So Spirit says, uh, you know this energy coming back. So avoid this shit, okay? And it's coming back quick because your new love is coming back quick. And that's the reason why Spirit say be lighthearted, like find out about some old things that are about to happen. And I feel like Spirit, I gotta pull one more card because I'm feeling like something. I feel like this person is about to just pop up or something. Like, I don't know. Spirit, what's, what, what is, well, give me one more energy before I let my Scorpios go. 
<laughs> this person this person is very very sexually drawn to you Scorpio whatever you did to them the last time y'all did something this person is head over heels it's a freak in the morning a freak in the evening this person that they need a freak in the morning a freak in the evening so I feel like they are like really sexually um they are really sexually drawn to you since you told them it ain't no more chances. Like, this was like the final finale and you like, I'm not dealing with this no more. And now this person is, oh, and that's the reason why passion is here too. Because they are like, I, I, I feel like it turned them on more when you rejected them. Mm. And that's another reason why spirits say this is you a part of their karma. So you rejecting them is is actually enhancing the passion that they have for you, which is their karma for fucking over you. And when somebody is shell shocked and they are in that type of energy, they don't see nobody around them. It's like tunnel vision. Now that's kind of bad because this obsession just could go further because of their sexual uh preference. But ooh, that's karma. Just think about somebody feel like you they only one in a whole wide world. Ain't nobody better than you. They never go find nobody with you. Then they go have to see you be with somebody and you love that person like they didn't do it. That's like, they don't have lifetimes of just thinking about you. They children's children's children gonna be like, damn it, I can't believe you fucked over Scorpio. Like, well, that was the stupidest thing you could have done. <laughs> Closed off and stubborn and we have fuck boy, fuck girls. So yeah. Anyway, so this is what you avoiding. Fuck boy, fuck girls. Uh closed off stubborn motherfuckers. You ain't giving no second chances. So clearly you already know what time it is. And people who just really not secure with who they are, so they won't be able to love you because they have to love themselves first. That's the reason why we the shit and we know it. Alright, collectors. I love you, Scorpios. Love yourself. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if you're fucking with your girl. I love you. Love yourself.